Chris. So I want to show you today the MBM draw results for what well, September. I can't believe we're in October already, but yeah. So uh, September. It took me a while to get them sorted because um, foolishly I always forget to record them on the day of the results. So it would be a lot easier if I just did a few every day. And I'm, I'm in that habit now, um, or I'm going to be. But I didn't, so it took me a few days to go back and get all the results and stuff. And there might be a couple that I've missed out, so if you've got any, please just comment below and point out that I missed the odd draw on the odd day if you want to. Um, you don't have to, but just for transparency's sake, it could be that it won't, it probably lost looking at the results this month. Um, but feel free to put, you also missed X, Y or Z. Um, but, you know, just, just so you know that there might be a couple missing just because my record keeping's been a bit crap. So this was August, um, and we finished off with an ROI of thirty percent, and uh, for the uh, that was for level stakes and for increasing thirty five percent. Now September was a whole different ball game. Not a good month at all. Um, it's the worst month we've had, I think. Uh, it was, and I didn't really notice because I've been so busy doing the possum pack and doing other stuff outside of the um, Math Batman stuff that. I didn't, I didn't know it's because I hadn't recorded all the results myself. So, I mean, it's been a funny month, to be fair. The selections, uh, you know, are pretty sound. It's just that we've, we, I don't know, it sounds like uh, a cop out, doesn't it? We've been unlucky, and I'll show you why I'm saying that. So, uh, here we are with September. I'll show you what you'll want to know. So, at level stakes, we're actually minus 24 points level stakes down. So, obviously, when you look at £2 uh, a stake, you'd be 48 quid down. If you go all the way to um, £20 a stake, obviously, you'd be timed in that by uh, 10 and you'd be £482 down. So, that's it's pretty crap, isn't it? Uh, no, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's been a, yeah, it was a rough month. But if we do look through, you'll see a lot of colour on that spreadsheet. But unfortunately, a lot of it is yellow. And I did notice this as I was going through. Um, so although I didn't necessarily record all the results, I always keep an eye out for them. I know which ones are on the spreadsheet and I'll keep a look on my sofa score up to see what's going on. Um, and I noticed a hell of a lot of late goals and it wasn't until I did the spreadsheet that I noticed exactly how many. Um, so the yellow, as you'll probably know, are games that were drawing at 85 minutes. So anyone who's a bit more cautious and wants to cash out at 85 minutes, you would have also added those to your, to your win list. Um, and before we go into that, what I also wanted to point out was, I haven't, I'm, I'm intentionally not billing this as a successful month, um, even though if I wanted to act in the way as many others would with this sort of increasing stakes method, I know a lot of people are turned off by it, so I'm not gonna push it too much, but if you look at the incre increasing stakes, it's basically a bit of a hack, isn't it? Because you can't lose because you keep throwing money after it until you win. So um, even with the lengthy, I mean, and look at this, we, this is the longest run we definitely went on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven losses. And I suggested putting a stop loss at ten last time uh, I spoke about this. So it might be that no one actually got to that point. I'm quite, I'll be quite happy if you didn't. But anyway, um, with the increasing stakes method, I mean, you can see the crazy figures that you're having to put on to get there. But if you followed the increasing stakes method, you would have profited by £4,700 if you'd have been doing £20 uh, starting level stakes. If you'd have been doing uh, £2 starts, you'd have profited by £478, which is a lot of profit. But I intentionally am not putting that all over the thumbnail for this video and talking about what thousands of pound profit because it don't seem right. If it's lost on level stakes this month, I'm not going to... I'm not going to sort of try and sugarcoat it and pretend that it's been really successful by quoting the increasing stakes method um, profit figure because I know it annoys a lot of people. Even though I think it's got its place, we don't need to go into that necessarily. So anyone doing increasing stakes, if you had the, the bank roll to, to carry on and the faith through this really sticky patch, then you'll be in profit, so well done. Um, but yeah, if we, look at, if we look at what actually happened um, in this month, and I'll keep it brief, you can see the greens, uh, and we had 63 games. There might, I think there were a few more. I think there were a couple of days that I've lost the, the spreadsheets for. Um, so, But if we look at what I've got going on here, and as you can see, I'm not, I'm not trying to fudge the results because I'm admitting they're a bit crap. Um, 63 games, and we had 12 wins, so 12 greens, which worked out at like 19% win rate, which is not very good, is it? Um, 
but if you add in the the yellows, we had another twelve yellows. So we had twelve games that actually had um, eighty five minute plus goals to to deny us a win. Um, and I know for a fact that about seven or eight of them were ninety ninety plus minutes um, because I was following them, um, and it's a killer. Um, so it's just sort of it sort of gives you an, an indication of how um, volatile this draw market is basically um the margins can never be finer so if you get a last minute goal admittedly some of the some of the greens here might have uh had benefited from last minute goals you know last minute equalizers and you have to take that into account as well but i know for a fact there were a lot of late uh late winners in the games and also some uh var disallowed goals as well look basically it was a bit of a crap month um, but if you added in, so there were double the amount. You'd have, if you added in the the yellows, if they would have gone our way, you'd have had twenty four wins at a thirty eight percent strike rate. And if we go back to August, I was talking about, um, that's going to bring you ROI much closer. It still wouldn't have been brilliant. I did work it out, and I think you'd have been slightly in profit. I think if you'd have assumed an average of four pound thirty or forty. I think for the yellows profit, and I think you would have been about 20 quid up uh, level stake. So obviously a couple of hundred quid, um, which uh, that's not to be sneezed at. I'm just saying, uh, I'm not saying it would have made an astronomical difference, but it would have made a big difference. Um, and I think, like I say, it's not me making excuses. It's it's facts. Um, it's pure facts that if you look at August, we only had two, two yellows on that spreadsheet. So two last minute goals. That lost us money uh, and in September we had 12 so you know it's a fact um, it's it's just a it's just a quirk of, of the system it means that really you could say there's 24 games there so there's definitely 38% uh, of the games that were selected were good selections weren't they because they were very close to or ended up in draws um, so in terms of selection process, there's not much wrong. It's just getting the rubber the green. Um, hopefully, a lot of you will have cashed out at exactly 90 minutes, if not before. If you cashed out before, I think you'll definitely have been up this month. Um, if you cashed out dead on 90 minutes, you would definitely have been up this month. Um, so hopefully you did. Everyone bets a little bit differently. Uh, I always cash out at 90 minutes, ex like exactly 90 minutes. Um, and yeah, you'll lose the odd game where um, the equaliser comes after that. Um, sorry, the, so the winner the winner comes in the uh, 89th minute or something, and you you know you could have cashed out in the 85th. But so you'll lose the odd game there. But I like to wait until 90 minutes. That's just personal preference. So there's not much more to say about it. I don't need to need to bore you too much with it. Um, I've started doing the results for October, but I've only sort of got into the the first and we've had a few wins since then um it's a little bit better i know we got a good win in in the usa the other day which is odds of like 4.2 i think um so i'm going to get that up and running anybody that wants this spreadsheet uh i'll try and get it up on the site um well i will, I will get it up on the site somewhere um so yeah just wanted to be transparent with that and show you what was going on and really i'm, I'm quite glad that there was a bit of a crap month because i think everybody including myself when you see something it's that whole too good to be true adage isn't it um i keep returning results that are saying oh yeah we did well this month we did well and everyone's like meh like this don't seem right so and i always say that you you know there's no guarantee and this is how you can you can illustrate it if you have a bad month you can lose money if you you can lose money betting on football <laughs> you know what i mean it's not right you shouldn't need to be told that but sometimes we do need reminding that you will lose um and Anything that I um, endorse or sort of build myself, um, that's no different. So I, I'm not immune to it. Um, but what I will do is be open about it and tell you straight up. So um, so just be careful. Just only ever bet within your means. That goes without saying with anything that you're doing. Uh, so yeah, that's what it is this month. Um, the £10 offer for YouTube subscribers is still on. If you comment below... Um, the video, the pinned video, then I'll hook you up with that. Basically, just enter YouTube 10 at checkout um, because this month I'm just going to use a generic code. And then at the end of the month, at the end of October, if we've got enough people to make it um, financially viable for me, I'll carry on doing £10 a month until hopefully we get enough numbers that I can do 755 
I want to give it away as cheap as possible while still being able to pay for my subscriptions to the software that I use to do the draws for the uh, Betfair API, for all the stuff that makes it, and then to make a little bit of money for my time to spend it bloody longer than I should because I'm not as skilled at a lot of the programs as I should be, but I spend a long time doing it. So I'm hoping we can all benefit in that way. Check out the last video and it will tell you more about that. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, any questions, let me know.